Hi, I'm TK from The Training Company. In this series of videos, we are going to take a look at five basic components of broad-based black economic empowerment, sometimes called triple BEE or just BEE for short. Number five, do not underestimate the complexity of properly implementing BEE in organization. Now, the BE scorecard might seem not that complicated. A balanced scorecard approach, we've got targets, weightings and measurement criteria, but that can really be seen as the tip of the iceberg. The real complexity is the 90% below the water that we do not see. Why do we say that it gets quite complicated? I might be building a BE scorecard, but if I want to do this properly and make this part of the fabric of my business, I need to have some other components on my radar screen as well. The first thing is, who are my key stakeholders that are involved in this process? These would either be people or stakeholders that require data or information or input from me, or they need something from me. Once I've identified who they are, what do they want from me? I need to be clear on that so that I can deliver on that mandate. The next level of complexity is there's a lot of data required to build a scorecard, to maximize it, and then to go for verification. And it's not just the data itself, it's also where does that reside and how do I manage the complexities around that data. Now, managing the data is one thing, just as important is the documentary evidence that supports that data. Why? The verification process, like any audit, is not so much dependent upon the data, but upon the valid documentary evidence that supports that data um, and what has happened in the business. I then also need to look at what's called the P's. And those would be the different people involved in the process, the different processes, as well as the different policies. Use an example. Let's say at any given time in my organization, 100 people make buying decisions. How am I going to change the procurement scorecard if those 100 people do not know what the policy is and they don't follow the right processes? And so I need to integrate those into the fabric of my business. Beyond that, I need to also take a look at communication and training. Generally, people will only support something where they understand the rationale behind it. And so I need a clear communication strategy to be able to tell my organization why we are embarking on this and what the rationale is for it. Also, any of my people, especially subject matter experts, might need in-depth training on the requirements of the amended or revised codes. The second last part is what risks are there in the entire process. I need to be able to identify those because once I've identified them, I can then take steps to minimize or mitigate those. The last part is the actual verification process, which is again an entire process all on its own. How do I identify the right verification partner? How do I engage with them? And how do I make sure that they are there to help guide me throughout this process? Now, looking at all of this complexity, one can see that even in a medium-sized business, there's dynamics that I do need to manage or else I'm not going to get the result. And so I need to be able to have a finger on the pulse of each of these different components. And if I don't know how to do it, that's where the training company can definitely assist. And that is it for this video. If at this point in time your head is spinning a little bit and this all seems very confusing, I've been there, I know how you feel. What you need is someone to guide you step by step through the process. And that is what the training company can do for you as well as for your business. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And a very last thought, look after yourself and be kind to others.